Hello guys, what's up? This is Place the Moving with you yet again. And even though 2010 has been a great year for movies, there are still plenty of shitty movies released in 2010. Of course, I skipped a lot of them, like Vampires Suck and Twilight Eclipse. But this list does not include movies that look like shit that I skipped. This list only includes shitty movies that I actually sat through. So without further ado, here are the worst movies of 2010. Enjoy! Number 8. Cats and Dogs. Revenge of Kitty Galore. I did watch this movie with high expectations. After seeing the trailer, I thought this movie would be an awesome movie. Maybe I was a fool to think that. But after seeing this movie, I was so disappointed with it. This movie is full of dull, uninteresting characters I couldn't give a shit about. The storyline for this movie was terrible. About the only positive thing I can say about this movie is that the gadgets were fucking awesome. But everything else was just pure shit. Number 7. A Nightmare on Elm Street. This is one of my most anticipated movies of 2010. Ever since I heard of it back in 2009, I just couldn't fucking wait to see it. But unfortunately, I was disappointed. This movie isn't just shit compared to the original Nightmare on Elm Street movie. This movie is just pure shit in general. The only character of this movie that I could possibly give a shit about is Freddy Krueger. But everyone else were just dull, uninteresting characters that I couldn't give a shit about. I will admit that they did manage to make Freddy better. But the problem is they fucked up everything else that made the original Nightmare on Elm Street movie so great. Number 6. The Spy Next Door. I am glad to say that unlike some movies on this list, I wasn't disappointed by this movie. I expected this movie to be shit, and sure enough, it was. And you know what's the worst thing about this movie? It's not the storyline. Well, the storyline is, of course, complete shit. A spy who can't take care of her children. Bad fucking idea. But that's not the worst thing about this movie. The worst thing about this movie is this movie has some of the most unprofessional fighting scenes I have ever seen for a movie. It almost feels like the actors weren't even trying. And that's the worst thing about this movie. Number 5. The Last Airbender. Now the biggest problem I had with this movie is that it felt more like a documentary movie than anything else. 
This movie was probably not trying to be a documentary. It was probably trying to be a fantasy movie. And I'm sorry, but it really failed at that. Most of the movie was just telling us some information about the airbenders and such. Most of the movie felt like a documentary. There were a few action scenes in this movie, but they were very few. And let me tell you, those action scenes weren't so impressive looking. The special effects were horrible and they could have been done so much better. Number 4 The Crazies. Now I don't have much to say about this movie because I wasn't really interested in it. I just felt it was a cliche movie. And I felt like the things that were done in this movie are just things that have been done many times before. This movie is so bad, it's also forgettable. Number 3, The Other Guys. Now I watched this movie with high expectations. After seeing such an amazing trailer, I thought this was gonna be a great action movie. But instead, what I got was a very boring piece of shit. Now I am aware that it's supposed to be more of a comedy than an action movie. But if you manage to only make me laugh a few times during this movie and give me an extremely boring dialogue that I couldn't possibly give a shit about this comedy movie fails! The biggest problem I had with this movie is that it was just so fucking boring. I was just waiting for something to happen and most of the times it didn't. And even if something did happen, it only happened for a few seconds and then it was back to the boring dialogue. Number 2, Sex and the City 2. Now I will just say right off the bat that I am not a fan of romantic movies. I think most of them are just cliché. Most of them are just the same stuff, somebody getting in love, and that's about it. You guys might be wondering why I did watch this movie if romantic movies aren't for me. Well, the reason why I watch this movie is because it's a movie based off a popular television show. And a movie based off a popular television show should be good, right? Well, unfortunately, this movie was not good. In fact, it was fucking horrible. I couldn't give a shit about any of the characters. It wasn't funny and worst of all, it was loaded with embarrassing moments. The moments of this movie are so embarrassing I just feel like face palming myself. Number one, Fury Vengeance. Now I am going to say one thing. I really felt sorry for the main character of the movie for being attacked by all those animals. But trust me, that's not a good thing. Not in this case, because this wasn't really a, an interesting character I could relate to. In fact, the main character was so dull that this time feeling sorry for the main character is a bad thing.
So this is the end of this piece of shit list. Now I'm going to ask you, yes you, what were your most hated movies of 2010? Also, if you disagree with some of my choices, feel free to leave a comment telling me why you disagree with me. I respect everybody's opinions and I'd love to debate. But if you agree with my list, then feel free to tell me that as well. So, yeah, that's all I gotta say, people. Thank you for watching and have a great day.